morning guys. I woke up pretty late today. <laughs> it's almost one o'clock and I'm just about to take poor Panda outside as he's whining as he should be. Sorry, buddy. Um, but anyway, I don't even know why because I went to bed at like 11 last night. But um, I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna put the vlog back to last night because or yesterday evening. We got um, something that I've been wanting for a while. I ordered it while I was back in Arkansas. So I'm gonna show you guys it um, and then I'll show you the process of it. Uh, so I ordered this um, like cat house, but actually what it's supposed to be is a covered cat box. So it has a door and uh, you can put a cat litter box in there and then kind of like hide it. Um, so that's, the litter box isn't gonna be here till Monday, but I ordered that, but I also had to build it. So I kind of, I vlogged that a little bit last night. So I'm gonna go ahead and play those clips. Um, and you guys can watch that while I take Panda out. So anyway, yeah, it was, it was fun, but it was very frustrating. So here's that. So this is actually a, a Friday night, guys. But, um, so I ordered this covered cat box, which probably wasn't even supposed to be here until July 21st, and it's the 17th, so that's great. But, uh, I feel like I just bought something from Ikea. Because, also, it's a little bit smaller than I thought it was, so hopefully the box will fit. The box isn't even here yet, but it's supposed to be here on Monday. Um, I ordered it because, one, to, like, help control the smell a little bit, and two, uh, just to make it look nicer, because this looks like a bedside table, not a litter box. But, like, I knew it came disassembled. But there's... There's so many screws. And very, very vague directions. Uh, like, on step one, where I have to put the, the threes into the holes. And then the nine and the eight into the B. And literally, there's step one, step two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then you get a cat box. But um, yeah, this is this is gonna be. I am I'm not good at building things. Um, I have my like, my brother help me. Oh, and there's also this piece right here that's the front. Um, so like I'm gonna try and build this and then move it into the room and just leave it sitting there so the cat can kind of like smell it and get used to it before we stick the litter box in there. But yeah, I wish you know if I, I, I get it together. Like, I wasn't even gonna like vlog. Well, I was gonna vlog this, but I didn't think it was gonna be today. Uh, but yeah, I, I gotta show that on the vlog. This is um. Oh, well, we'll see if we get it together. I've got screwdrivers. I, I think I only need the Phillips head, but yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. Let the uh, the adventure knockoff IKEA begin. <laughs> Like I'm putting these little screws in their respective places and it was hard because it's like the screw was slightly too big for where it was supposed to be so I don't know I got better when I got to this piece that one one keep you focus one kept going crooked and this one one wouldn't go in but I got them all in so now okay so this is where I'm at right now it took me forever a million years to get B attached to whatever the word that is. And now I gotta get C on there. So, yay me. <laughs> this is like, so this is actually the floor. But yeah, not easy. Okay, this is slowly yet surely coming together. Uh, I have to put A on, which I think goes on top. It shouldn't be too hard actually, because I think I just have to put the screws in and like, I don't know, if I have to do more wooden dowel stuff, that's what's going to drive me nuts. Those wooden dowels are just so obnoxious. Let's see. For, oh, it wants me to put the door on first. Okay. Um, yeah. Oh. Where? <laughs> uh, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll figure that out. Um, but, it, it, slowly. <laughs> I think the walls were the hardest part. Well, that took two hours, but I got it together. So, one thing I'm wondering is... I think the litter box I bought, I don't think it's going to fit in here because you kind of almost need like a square-shaped litter box. So, that'll be interesting. Uh, we'll see. I'll, if it not, I'll try and find one that'll fit. Um, but, 
the door just kind of swings and it's got a little magnet right there so it kind of magnetizes and uh cat can do their thing so it is quite heavy it's like 17 pounds but that was, that was kind of fun it was a little bit frustrating because at one point i uh i accidentally like put it together put the wrong piece in the wrong piece so i had to dismantle it and put it back together but i got it done so yay me that was Project complete. Pretty sure she thinks this is a bed. You guys can't really see her. Hang on. Just chilling. The litter box doesn't fit. I may have bought them a very expensive bed. This was like seventy dollars, but we'll see. Hey guys, so I'm just sitting here having a afternoon cup of coffee. I didn't even get up till like twelve, so. Um, yeah, just having that, listening to some music, and you know it's been way too hot. This, this summer's been atrocious in Florida, but you know it's been way too hot when you look at it and you're like, hey, it's only, feels like 103 outside. Only. I mean, we've been having heat indexes like 108 to 115 every single day, which is like why I sit in here really bored most of the time, because, uh... I can't even like go walk around the lake or anything until like eight o'clock at night because well I took Panda for a little walk this morning I mean we just do this short little loop we have some tennis courts back here uh, I don't think it's even a quarter of a mile like literally this really tiny loop maybe a quarter mile at the most um so I do that because like it's not hot enough to you know we can do that but um yeah, I can't like go walk around the lake or go for a run or I don't even want to use the gym right now because there's people in there and it's really small and close space. So it's like, yeah, just sit here. <laughs> I was telling my sister this morning, I was like, yeah, summer is usually my favorite season, but I think after living in Florida for two years, I'm pretty sure fall or winter is going to become my favorite season because I hate cold weather. But I also hate heat indexes in the hundreds, so it was just kind of funny. It was just like, yeah, it's only 103. It's great. So <laughs> let me know in the comments, what, what kind of weather do you guys prefer? Like, do you like cold weather? Do you like hot weather? Do you, yeah. I mean, I love living in Florida because I love warm weather and I love our winters here. Like, it can be 70 degrees on Christmas Day. But, um, yeah. Right now in July, not quite so much. Check out these clouds beautiful we had our usually every day afternoon thunderstorm come in earlier today it's about three o'clock 3 30 ish um usually it doesn't come in it hasn't been coming until like six. Oh wow look at these clouds those are cool so anyway because it came in earlier um instead of late at night it like literally just stopped so it's kind of humid out here but it's only 81 feels like 87 which is like the lowest it's been and i don't even know how long um and i mean the humidity is only at 78 percent so you know, living in florida that's not terrible um so i was like hey i can actually go for a walk because I'm, I'm getting so tired of having to sit inside um i was like hey i can actually go for a walk because it's not like terrible outside so that's what's gonna do i was like Yep, I'm gonna go for a walk. <laughs> I didn't bring Panda with me this time. I'm just um, gonna walk around the lake, but it's nice to get out because I get so tired of having to sit inside. Because in the summer, that's that's kind of what you have to do. So, I'm gonna listen to some music and enjoy a nice, not super hot walk with some crazy clouds. Sorry, I know I'm filming this so much, but this cl these clouds are just amazing. I mean, that's just so, that's like the outer band of the storm, and that's just, oh, that's just amazing, there's just something so, I don't know what it is, there's just something so awe-inspiring about that, and over here you got the blue sky coming through, um, yeah, I mean, just look at that.
I'm heading back. There's like this wind, and I'm really not sure if it's going to start raining again. But oh no, guys, there's just something so beautiful about this stormy sky to me today. The sun's coming up over there. It's just beautiful. I don't know why, it just is. I better go before I get rained on. <laughs> Hey guys, so I hope you enjoyed looking at those clouds as much as I did because they were just amazing. Like that was some of the prettiest storm clouds I have ever seen and now that I'm back inside it's already, well, yeah, see the sun's already coming back out, the sky's already blue-ish, um, but it was just, that was amazing. Like I have never seen, I mean I've seen pretty storm clouds before and rainbow storm clouds which are amazing, but those were just some of those clouds I don't know it was just incredible and with the breeze blowing on me like there was a really strong breeze and there was some trickle of rain coming off the trees and it was just really really nice I didn't go all the way around I actually went to the pool and then doubled back um, because I didn't know it was gonna start raining again it kind of looked like it did I didn't want to get caught, caught out in a downpour but yeah and it kind of made me think about too like not only was it just in front of me these beautiful storm clouds but we're all in a storm right now. We're all dealing with stuff right now and there can still be beauty in the storm is kind of what it was a reminder of. Like something that is so dark and so um, potentially destructive and so like covering up the sun can also be so beautiful and so awe inspiring. Like I can't tell you how much I was staring at those clouds and I actually read this list somebody wrote this morning of like a hundred good things that have come out of 2020 and I can't list them all but um it was like everything that is so dark and so destructive and so um like dimming is also can be so beautiful and so um like if it was just a blue sky I wouldn't have photographed it I wouldn't have paid much attention to it but because it was a dark and dreary sky with this beauty underlying I stared at it and I appreciated it and I think that can be a good analogy for what this year has been so Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the vlog here. I'm going to go ahead and upload it because I have quite a bit of footage plus the cat stuff last night. So with that, thank you guys so much for coming along on my day today and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night.